Hey everybody, it's Grizzly Nina. I am making another paper craft Animal Crossing character today. And in honor of our new summer update, I'm making Pascal the Otter. So in case you don't know, I co-host an Animal Crossing podcast called Haken with Chewy, who has an awesome YouTube channel called Chewy Plays Nintendo, and with Sergio from Nintendo Jump Podcast fame. We recently recorded episode 138 and talked all about this new Horizon Summer update. That episode gave me the idea for this artwork that I'm making, but let me give you a little bit of a backstory first. I'm on the East Coast, and Chewy and Sergio are closer to the West Coast. So we all have to be pretty flexible when we record our podcast. It just so happens that for this latest episode, episode 138, we ended up recording super late at night for me. No big deal, time has stopped existing for me in quarantine and I'm in the middle of my summer break, but I was pretty sleepy for this one. So much so that I was getting a little punch drunk and was finding everything super hilarious. Especially when Sergio was saying Gullivar with such gusto and repeating it over and over. I swear I was crying. I was laughing so hard. You guys have to go back and listen to it. Another moment in the episode that got me laughing was when Chewie was enthusiastically explaining how cute Pascal the Otter is if you follow him after giving him a scallop. He swims over the border and just munches away on his scallop. It's precious. And Chewie came up with the tagline, please feed the otters. Uh, so long story long, I wanted to make a little sign for Pascal and his scallops. Making this paper Pascal, I didn't have as many textured papers as I did when I made the paper Hazel, like Frida Kahlo. I'll link that one down below in case you haven't seen it. Um, but I did find this really nice white paper that had like a zigzag pattern across the whole piece. So when I cut it up in different directions, it ended up looking like a woven pattern for Pascal's little beanie hat that he wears. I love it. Oh, I also got new scissors. When I was making the hazel one, my hands and my wrist hurt for like two days afterwards. But um, as you guys can see in the video, I got these funky looking scissors that I guess are ergonomic, where I just have to like click with my fingers across the paper instead of opening and closing with my whole hand. Um, might be a little bit of a nerd art supply update, but it's making me happy at least. I really enjoyed making Pascal's little shell medallion for his necklace. I backed it with some gold shiny paper just to give it a little bit of an extra pop. In just a second, you'll see me work on the background of this piece. Uh, I used an X-Acto blade to cut out the waves. I did three different layers and the waves will go in different direction with each layer. And then on the last layer, I cut out some clouds just to kind of change up the shapes a little bit. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an in-depth look as to how I do the lettering at the end of this piece that reads, please feed the otters. Um, because it can be a little tricky to fit words into small spaces without them running over. That happens to me all the time. They kind of just overflow to where I want them to be. So what I do is I cut out rectangles in the color of the words that I want them to be and um, kind of squeeze them in and cut them up until they're sized 
to where I want the letters to be, where I want the whole words to be. So please feed the otters is four rectangles, um, one very small one because of the word the. Um, but as long as I have those four rectangles spaced in the area where I want the letters, then I can start cutting up those rectangles. So for example, my rectangle that I used for the word feed has four letters in it, F-E-E-D. So I cut that rectangle into four equal pieces. Um, that way I know that those smaller sizes that I've cut is the size of the letter that I need it to be. I'm hoping this is making sense. So once I've cut out F-E-E-D, I can glue them down or tape them down um, and they'll be the size I need them to be without flowing over. So um, hope that makes sense. Hope it gives you guys a little bit of a trick as you watch it in the video too. All right, there he is. There's my little Pascal out of paper. He's gonna be such a great reminder of the good times I have when I record the Haken podcast. And I'm so glad I get to share them with you guys too. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next time.